Mr. Dave Oaks, Aqua Safari Tours. I'm going to skip all the important stuff and go to the really cool stuff. Lifetime member of the National Association of Underwater Instructors. Nawi instructor, trainer, and Nawi course director. Dave has served on the board of Nawi board of directors since 2008 and has been chairman of the Nawi board of directors since 2012. But one important thing, his energy is unex unescapable. I'll take uh, that. Yeah, take that. ultimate. <laughs> and he's got a great smile. So ladies and gentlemen, Dave Oaks, Aqua, Aqua Safari Tours. You got 15 minutes? I got 15 minutes, thank you. I got this on. Here, I'm good. My mic's off. All right. Bert saved me some time by doing so much of my introduction. But uh, yes, uh, my name's Dave Oaks. I'm the owner of Aqua Safari Adventures, which is a scuba training, guiding, charter, and consulting company up in West Palm Beach with a really unique business model. We specialize in very high quality, very personalized service. So it's, it's got a great appeal to people in the yachting industry and for people who want to charter yachts. I'm also chairman of the board of directors of NAWI, which is one of the largest and the oldest international certifying agency in the world for scuba diving with a reputation for uh, exceptional training and creating really uh, highly professional, highly qualified uh, dive instructors and dive masters. The last few years I've served on the board of directors for the Green Diver Initiative, which is a really cool program. It's a not-for-profit started by NAWI uh, to support grassroots effort for marine conservation and preservation utilizing social media. So they've got a very unique business model as well. I'm psyched to be here because I get to talk about scuba diving. I want to talk about destinations, the fun stuff we do, liability and safety, and the services I offer. And there's no way Bert's going to let me do that in the next 45 minutes. So I'm going to squeeze it into 15. I invite you to come back to our table and meet Emily and me so that we can talk to you about how we can be of service to you. But I believe with all my heart that scuba diving is such a cool activity. It adds an option for your charter, whether it's a private island, whether it's a boat, uh, to give you a sales advantage when you're talking to the client about things they can do on charter. All right, let me get rolling here. I want participation from the crowd, so why is this not clicking? <laughs> I'll ask the first question. You definitely have to come visit us because guess who in the room broke the number one rule of coming to one of these things and didn't bring any business cards? <coughs> Dave Oaks. They're sitting on my desk, so I have limited business cards, so you've got to get this packet. Thank you. Now we're rolling. And let me back up. The question was going to be, does anyone know who that is? Yes. yes, okay, it's Sheldon Cooper from the Big Bang Theory, right? Can anyone tell me what Sheldon's favorite number is? 73, his favorite number 73. I don't have time to explain why, but it's 73. Next question, what's that? Earth. Planet Earth, very good, you guys are alert. Here's the question, what percentage of our Earth is covered by water? You are, you're paying attention, but you're wrong. Um, <laughs> I've got a weird mind. It's so close to 73 that because I know what the number is, I thought of Sheldon and his favorite number. The actual number is 71. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered by water. That needs to be our favorite number. Anybody want to venture a guess why? All of us in this room provide services and products to people who will want to go spend a lot of money to go have fun in that 71%. They want to swim in it, fish in it, dive in it, yacht in it. Um, that's not, is that a verb, yacht in it, charter in it? Uh, they want to go to the islands. So that 71% is really important to us. And I want to tell you that scuba diving is a huge part of what they want to do out there. So it gives you a great competitive advantage uh, if you're offering scuba diving as part of the charter itinerary. Now, there are so many destinations, I don't have time to talk to about them all. I want to leave enough time for question and answer, and I'm going to have a vi um, some pictures scrolling at the end. All of those pictures were taken on Charter, and, and I want you to notice those. I've got them playing at the table, but there's a lot of water that we can go dive in. Now, if we go down to Antarctica, Emily is going to be doing the diving. I'll just take care of the top part, but there's a lot of great places to go. So why scuba diving? Why do you want to add that to your itinerary? That competitive advantage comes because your clients want to do it. How many scuba divers do we have in the room? Raise your hands. Wow, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. I can tell you something about scuba divers. When they see water, 
they want to dive in it. So when they're standing on your island, when they're standing on the deck of that boat, they want to go see what's underneath the surface. They have a passion for it and they're excited about it. They share that passion with their friends. So the guests they bring along on charter, they want to dive as well. We provide services that can, that can help out those who already dive, as well as those who want to learn to dive and those who've never done it. Next, and this is where I could talk all day. For those of you who dive, you'll get this. Scuba diving opens up an entirely different world that's almost indescribable to people who've never seen it. It's, it's as different from our world here as a Dr. Seuss book is from War and Peace. It's that different. It's a very unique place that's fun, a lot of excitement and adventure, and it brings, it allows people to have some great memories. A number of the captains I work with, near the end of the charter, they'll gather the, 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 the guests and the crew together and they'll ask the guests, what was the highlight of your trip? And 100% of the time, if we're doing diving, they raise their hands and say it was scuba diving. And no offense to the chefs, because when we don't do scuba diving, the food is usually next. But when we do scuba diving, that's the number one thing. And it creates lifetime memories that they're telling their family and friends about and they want to come back for. What I want you thinking about, who here in this room has had a client say, well, I've been there, I've done that, I really don't know if I want to do this charter because I've been there before. The been there, done that objection is a very serious concern for us in this industry. You want to be armed with a very simple fact that yes, you may have been to that location, you may have cruised to those waters, but you've only seen a tiny bit of it. Let me talk to you about diving and go on and explain to them how they can do diving. And if you don't have the answer to all their questions, call me and I'll help you out with that. What I love about NAWI and the fact that Aqua Safari Adventures is a NAWI facility is, is because of the training we have to go through to be dive masters instructors. The members of my team uh, may carry different ratings from other associations, but we all have to have this because I want them grounded in that background. Next, NAWI allows us professional academic freedom. Why on earth would this matter to you? Well, for a couple incredibly important reasons. This first one I think is the biggest. Now he gives us the professional academic freedom to work with students and instructors from other agencies. There are over 200 certifying agencies in the world. 200, all right? Most of those agencies mandate if you start your course with their agency, you have to finish with it. So now picture this. You've got a client all excited. They've started their training back home. And now they're coming down to this exotic destination to, do, to finalize their training in the ocean, they're excited to dive, they show up and the instructor on site looks at their paperwork and says, well, you trained with organization X and I teach for organization Y. We can't complete this or else I've got to start you over from the beginning. You don't have that problem with a NAWI instructor. They can take any student from any agency and continue their training. For those of you who want to build your own in-house program or have one existing, definitely come see us at the back. We, we can provide services to help you set one up that uh, really runs well. And why I would encourage you to have it as a NAWI program, NAWI allows you, if you want to develop your training in-house, I know there's a few captains in here, you can have your employees, your staff go through training and designate one of those individuals to be an instructor trainer. And once they meet the requirements, they can now train future instructors and future employees, which saves you money, time, you've got cost control, you've got quality assurance control, you do everything in-house. Liability, that, that's huge. Now it's nice to say that diving's an incredibly safe sport, especially when done right. The insurance we carry is now instructors incredibly comprehensive. And, and I don't want to make this an insurance seminar, that will put you to sleep, and I used to be in that business. Um, our insurance is so good that if anywhere we set foot, that organization, that boat, that island, that entity is automatically an additional insured on our policy, which per puts a first line of defense up there to protect the boat, to protect the client in case there is a problem. In 25 years of doing this, I've never had to activate my insurance, nor has anyone on our team. But it's out there if we need it, and it's, it comes automatic when you hire us. All right. Kind of focus more on what you get when you hire Aqua Safari Adventures. And this goes to our Naui roots, the loved one policy. Real simple. I think I mentioned this a couple years ago when I was up here. Loved one policy is simple. Anyone who comes to work for Aqua Safari Adventures, I have to trust that person to train my loved ones. My wife, my parents, my niece, my nephews, my brothers and sisters-in-law. I trust those people with those dearest to me. 
if, if I trust them that much, then I trust them to work for me and work for our clients. That drives us to a level of quality that's huge. Because not do I just demand that of them, they believe in that. So it is so cool to watch the members of my team working with our clients, and your clients, is they push quality to the limits. Not just in terms of safety, but in giving that, that guest a great experience. Discretion. Man, that is so key in this industry. You will never have to worry about the paparazzi waiting at the dock, pictures showing up on Facebook or other social media of your clients. We guard our client list zealously, even to the point of our own detriment. There have been a number of times I've been in a sales negotiation, and I know that if I told that person who my clients were, because we've got an impressive client list, they would sign up in a heartbeat. I have never and I will never even reveal the names of those clients just to make a sale. All right, so we protect them. Our experience and expertise, I was telling someone in the other room a few minutes ago, the average lifespan of a scuba instructor is three years. They're in and out of the industry in three years. I'm hitting 25, I'm coming up on 24. My entire team is a minimum of 10, usually 15, but we've been in this business far longer than anybody else and going, I've been charter since, what, 96. We've got 20 years of going out and working off boats, working off private islands. We know how to do this. And more importantly is not only do we know those milk run destinations where everybody tends to cruise, I think the professionalism is most important when we're somewhere new and nobody's dived there. And to have that reassurance of a professional who says, hey, this is how we ought to dive, when we ought to dive, where we ought to dive to do it safely. Because bottom line, we can talk about liability insurance all we want. The best protection is simply to do it right, prevention. If you do this right, if, if a professional behaves the way they ought to and conducts dive operations the way they ought to, it's very safe, very safe. And that's what we bring to the table with my business. How am I doing on time? Uh, right okay, all right. Last thing then here with the Green Diver Initiative. I bring this up for one very important reason. <laughs> All right. Well, they always tell you in public speaking, do your attention getter at the beginning of the presentation, but that was a good little wake up to get us started. Kind of reminded me of being in grade school again. All right. And you know what I neglected to mention at the beginning is uh, Samaritan's Purse. What a great choice. I have been involved with some things through them over the years through my church. They do a number of different programs. We are so fortunate in this country to have the things that we have and boy there's a whole world out there of people who are hurting and especially what's happened now so that, that's, a that's a great one to support. In fact what I even want to tell you as much as I believe in Green Diver Initiative I would say do the Samaritan's Purse thing first but what I want to say about, about Green Diver is this. Uh, Green Diver is a little bit unique there are all sorts of programs out there save the whales, save the turtles, save the sharks and those are all great what Green Diver was set up to do was help individuals locally with projects that, that may never get the notoriety and be available to help in any number of ways. And so it provides grants and sponsorships to those types of programs and then leverages social media to get the word out. And I bring it up today for a couple of reasons. One, to make a blatant appeal for a donation. If you want to go back and, and make a donation, we'd love to have you part of the Green Diver Initiative team and Emily and I can tell you how to do that also wanted to bring it up for this reason. We love the ocean and want to protect it because we make our livings there and it's a good thing to do. Our clients often think the exact same way. Many of them want to give to these types of causes and other benefits to that is there, if your knowledge of this and if you know of a client looking for a place to park some money for a good cause, there's tax advantages to that and also now we so believes in that they don't have an ego about it. They don't care. It's, it's really not even the Nowy Green Diver Initiative. If you've got a client who wants to make a sizable donation for a seat on the board of directors, that's available. Or if they want it named the AT&T Green Diver Initiative or the XYZ Billionaire Green Diver Initiative, that, that's available to do. So they could use it for their own marketing purposes. So I think it's a great cause and if you want more information about it, uh, just come see Emily and me at the back. Now, when I click this next slide, it's gonna start the uh, slideshow of, of what I've got running back here. These, uh, I, I wanna save the rest of my time just for question and answer. Any questions you may have about, about what it is that we do or how we can help with diving, but as you're looking at the pictures, I want you to notice a couple of things. 
It's men and women, boys and girls, people of all ages. All these pictures are taken somewhere on charter. In terms of destinations you can go to, well, 71% of the earth is covered with water. But right here in our own backyard, I, I've had a number of charters, they just wanted to cruise the Florida coast from West Palm to Key West because it's incredible diving. You've got great diving in the Bahamas, especially when you get to the out islands. The Caribbean, amazing diving, just renowned for that. Central America, South America, the South Pacific, Antarctica, believe, I am a WIMP, which stands for Warm Intelligent Marine Professional, but I will get in that cold water of Antarctica to see that someday. But notice how close you can get to marine life. You can't do that on, on an African safari so much. You can't do that hiking through the woods, but in the ocean, you can get right up very personal with the marine life. It's just incredible. So, th so that is what I wanted to bring to you today. Do any of you have any questions for me? Yes. I'm not clear about your services. Are you providing dive instructors that could be on the yacht? Do you have boats? Great question. She asked specifically what we do for services, and the answer to that is we provide dive professionals to go meet the charter. And the way this typically works, let's just use a, a, a charter example. Somebody wants to go to Grand Cayman, and they want to charter around the Caymans, and they want to, ch they're going to, uh, charter's going to start on Sunday. We show up Saturday. We meet the boat a day in advance so that our travel schedule in no way interferes with the guests, and we're there to get onto the boat and get oriented, start reviewing the dive gear and get set up. When the guests arrive, we can begin dive operations immediately. And that professional is there and available 24-7, regular dives during the day, night diving, and then we work real hard to integrate with the crew so that we're there helping them as well. So that instead of being in their way, they've got another set of hands for lines or I don't know how many dishes I've dried over the years, but we want to be a part of that team because we want the whole experience to be better because it brings the client back again and again. Okay, yes. So the boat has to have accommodations for an extra step. Another great question, yes. That is one of the biggest hurdles I have, um, is where do we sleep? Often we're in crew quarters. Some boats run a bunk short to bring in a, a, a subject matter expert, whether it's a, a yoga instructor or a massage therapist or a diver. I've slept, on, uh, I've slept in the bridge before. I've slept in the sky lounge. Sometimes we get lucky and we're in a guest cabin because they're not all used. Our services are so popular. I have a couple of clients who say, I don't care what boat we use, and I don't care where you put him, but Dave Oaks or one of his team is going to be on it, and they usually then charter like a, a fishing boat to trail, and we'll stay on that. So it's been any number of things. Sometimes I've been land-based, and they run us back to a hotel at land. But the, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hurdle sometimes we have to overcome, and sometimes it's a showstopper. But usually we can work it out for a place for us to sleep or stay. But that is a concern. Good question. Anyone else? Uh, okay, yes. What about the qualifying guys? Someone does the full and then comes down and just does qualifying guys. What she asks is, and it's called a referral in the dive industry, somebody, it's, uh, somebody does their class and pool training up north. They live in Des Moines, but they're coming to Florida. So they do their class and pool training up north. We can do the checkout dives on the boat. There, there's four required dives. We can get them done right there. If someone wants to complete the whole course, um, we can usually use just off the back of the boat as our shallow water, it's called confined water entry level experience, to get them started. And then e-learning is available so we can get classrooms started before they ever come down and, do, and then do the uh, water training off the back of the boat. But yes, we can train people from start to finish on the boat. We can also take them from what's called a referral where everything's done, they just need to do the dives. How long do you need to do the qualifying dives? You need two days, two days of diving, and they, they need four total dives, which means you're going to have the dive professional on there for a minimum of three, because of some flying requirements, correct. Yes? Is a ballpark price to have one of your trainers come for two? Yes. What's the price for this? Think of it this way. I, some boats have gear, some don't. Sort of a flat line price that we do just for the professional is $700 a day plus travel expenses. What I tell people is this, most of the boats are gonna need some form of dive equipment and I think this often resonates better with the client is to give a flat price. For a week long charter, depending on how much rental equipment is needed, 
I tell the brokers that it's going to be somewhere between $7,500 and $15,000 to have a professional out there with, for a week with everything that's needed. And, and then we can adjust from there. And I'm actually working on doing some, some pricing work. I've got every conceivable possibility spreadsheeted. So if you want this, I hit send and you know exactly what it is. But if you figure about 7,500 to 15 grand a week, three or four bottles of wine, actually sometimes one bottle of wine covers us for a week. So uh, we're not that expensive to be out there and you get some truly professional service. Anybody else? Please come see us at the back and um, I'd love to also set up a time if you want me to come by your office and talk to you. And I don't know where Emily went, but we had a whole bunch of these to toss out. So I'm just going to throw this in the middle and you guys can pile on for it. <laughs> okay. Come get yourselves some ducks. Emily must have taken a phone call. You guys can fight over those. But thank you very much. <laughs>